Hi, so welcome to this another episode of CAT Question of the Day Initiative and this is Kamal Loya and I'm here to uh, help you to achieve your dream destinations. Okay, so this question is from uh, Geometry Triangle Fun is the name of the question and uh, if you haven't seen this question earlier, this is your time. I'm getting a side. Please solve this question on your own first. Okay, so I hope you have tried this question and this is a basic question which uses all your geometry formulae. Jo kuch bhi aapne yaad kiya hua hai na, everything you are to put in it, right? So you can use various ways to answer this question and basically we are going to discuss the basic traditional way or trigonometric way uh, because it is talking about certain angles here and uh, we are going to discuss about a non-trigonometric uh, visualization based way basically an imaginative way how you can uh, use your intuitions and use your imaginative powers your visualization and your creative skills to answer this question let's see now so uh, let's move on to the next slide it says one angle of a triangle is twice another ठीक है तो दो एंगल्स के बारे में बताया है दे आर इन द रेशियो 1 टू 2 इन अ वे वी कैन से तो एक एंगल दूसरे का डबल है एंड द साइड्स अपोजिट दीस टू एंगल्स हैव लेंथ 15 एंड 9 रिस्पेक्टिवली बढ़िया तो जो एंगल डबल है उसके पोज साइड लेंथ ज्यादा होगी दैट इज 15 एंड द स्मॉलर एंगल वुड बी हैविंग अ स्मॉलर साइड लेंथ अपोजिट टू इट ओके लेट्स ड्रॉ दिस सो दैट इज द फर्स्ट स्टेप वी नीड टू ड्रॉ द डायग्राम so uh, kya kare, kya kare, kya kare. let's do it like this. This is the longer side length that is 15 and the shorter one that's something like this. This is 9. Theke? And this is the third side length which we need to calculate. That's the question. Find the length of the third side of the triangle. So this third side length let it be x. So this is what we want to calculate. Is it fine so far? Chicken, that is the only thing given. So we are having these two triangles and we are known about their angles also. So angle opposed to these two sides are in the ratio 1 is to 2. So 9 choti side hai, choti side ke opposite angle chota hoga. So if this angle is theta, then 15 ke opposite vertex pe jo angle hai, that is 2 theta. I am marking with a double uh, sign also here so that uh, we can easily distinguish it. Anyhow, so this is the given information and we need to find the value of x. That is a simple thing, right? In, in, sh in short, if I say this is the given information and this unknown value x is to be figured out. How we can do it? I told you, I gave you a hint in the beginning only. We can make use of trigonometry here. So some trigonometric relations are there. Do you know them? Can you recall which, uh, uh, which relations can we use here? Yes. So there are two important trigonometric relations which we can use here. So whenever we have three sides of a triangle, and we know the angles opposite to the side lengths. So there is a relation which relates the angles and the sides that is known as sine rule. Right? Let me write it here. So sine rule. So what is sine rule? Sine rule says that in a triangle, if we have three sides like this, uh, vertex A, vertex B, vertex C. So vertex A ke opposite side length A, vertex B ke opposite side length B, vertex C ke opposite side length C. So sine rule states that uh, 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 A, the side length A, upon sine of the opposite angle that is sine A would be equal to this B, the side length B and opposite to this that is angle B, so sine of this angle B is going to be equal to this third part also, so side length C upon sine of the angle opposite to this uh, side length that is that vertex C, so let's call it angle C, so sine of angle C. So this is known as sine rule, fine. So in this, in this given triangle, we are having these two sides and we are having uh, angles oppo uh, opposite to these two sides are also given in the terms of their in the ratio 1 is to 2, so theta and 2 theta. So we can make use of this property and we can figure out some value uh, regarding this angle, isn't it? Okay, let's first use that and then after that we shall see if anything else is required. So let me write here only. So 9 by sine theta, we are going to get 9 by sine theta is equal to 15 by sine of 2 theta, isn't it? Now here you can also make use of sine of 2 theta. The sine 2 theta is what? Sine 2 theta is actually 2 sine theta cos theta. Okay. So those who are unaware about trigonometry, don't worry. You will have to uh, have patience for some more, uh, some more time. We are going to show you non-trigonometric way also. But right now, uh, many of you are already familiar with trigonometry. So these are the relations which you have studied in your class 11th, right? Class 11th, you have studied all these things. So sine 2 theta, if I put this value here, so I got to know that's 9 by sine theta is equal to 15 by 
टू साइन थीटा कॉस थीटा ठीक है ना साइन थीटा वुड बी कैंसल एंड थ्री थ्री जार नाइन थ्री फाइव जार फिफ्टीन सो दैट मेक्स इट दिस कोस थीटा ऑन द लेफ्ट हैंड साइड इफ आई टेक इट तो कॉस थीटा वुड बी इक्वल टू हाउ मच दिस फाइव अपॉन दिस थ्री विल कम डाउन साइड सो फाइव बाय सिक्स तो कॉस थीटा इज इक्वल टू फाइव बाय सिक्स तो दिस वन इन्फॉर्मेशन वी हैव गॉट इन दिस ट्राइंगल यूजिंग दिस साइन रूल राइट okay but uh, what we can do with this cosine value of cosine here we do not know the exact value of angle because cos theta 5 by 6 to malum nahi kis angle ka hota hai and you are not allowed to have a trigonometric uh, tables or trigonometric calculator scientific calculator that's what but we are not having access to so anyway that is not required we can make use of another trigonometric rule which uh, finds the value of cosine of an angle that is known as cosine rule so like we had a sine rule same way we also have a cosine rule which relate the angle of the angle of the triangle along with the three side lengths let's see how uh, does it go so it say if i talk if i talk about cosine of angle a let me write for cosine of angle a so if i am uh, if i find the value of cosine of angle a so this rule says cos of angle a would be uh, it will be a ratio of two terms so in the numerator we are going to have square of the sum of the square of the adjacent sides that is b square Plus c square, right? Sum of the squares of adjacent side, adjacent sides, adjacent to this angle, right? Angle A ki hum baat kar rahe hain. So angle A ke ab adjacent koon si sides hain? B and C. So b square plus c square, and we need to subtract the square of the opposite side length. That is minus a square. ठीक है? That is the numerator part. And in the denominator, we would be having two times product of the adjacent sides. That is two times b into c. That's it. So that is known as cosine rule. so in this particular question if we see we have already figured out the value of cosine of the angle cosine of angle theta and we know the three side lengths where two values are known to us 9 and 15 and third side length is x which is unknown and that is to be figured out so using this cosine rule applying this cosine rule in this triangle we can determine the value of this uh, missing uh, missing length x isn't it let's let's calculate let's check it so where should i write let me write here only or I'm I'm putting it here this time. मैं यहाँ लिख देता हूँ. So uh, using this relation here, so this cos theta, जो cos theta I'm writing it here, so that you can easily relate. So cos theta, जो कि five by six है, it is going to be equal to what? It is going to be equal to sum of squares of adjacent sides. इस theta के adjacent sides कौन सी हैं? Fifteen and x, right? So it is going to be equal to fifteen square plus x square. And now I need to subtract the square of the opposite side, right? Square of the opposite side. A square here. That means it is nine square. ठीक है ना? So minus nine square divided by what it is going to be? It is going to be two into product of the adjacent sides. So in this case, two into fifteen into x. This is two into fifteen into x. That's it. So that is the final relation we are having using this second trigonometric rule here. After sine rule, we are using cosine rule, and we will get a, a quadratic equation in terms of x. And of course, we can simplify after that. Let's see what happens. Uh, dub 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 dub. Oh, can we cancel out something? Uh, do, 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 do. yes, yes. I can see that this is this is what this is what. Uh, 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 two threes are six. Three fives are fifteen. Fine. So five x when move to numerator, so left hand side it will come in numerator. So five into five, this is twenty five x. This is twenty five x. Is equal to fifteen square minus nine square. Let's simplify this. Fifteen square, you know, it is two twenty five. Two twenty five minus eighty one. Two twenty five minus eighty one is one forty four. This is one forty four. ठीक है ना? Fifteen square is two twenty five. This is fifteen square and nine square is eighty one. If I subtract them, so it is five minus one four. Twenty two minus eight is fourteen. So this is one forty four plus x square. Okay. By the way, you could have used the identity of a square minus b square also. That is fifteen minus nine into fifteen plus nine. Anyhow, the value is going to be same. Okay. So rearranging it, we get x square uh, minus twenty five x. And this plus one forty four equals to zero. Now very easily we can see we can split it as minus sixteen and minus nine. So it comes out to be x minus sixteen, x minus nine equals to zero, which means x equals sixteen or nine. Is both values uh, are both values possible? Uh, I don't think nine would be feasible because if I take x to be nine, in that case uh, these two side lengths become equal. That means these two angles will also become equal, right? So theta theta. So the four angles are theta theta two theta. So sum is one eighty degree. It means theta theta two theta four theta is one eighty. That means theta is forty five. So forty five forty five ninety, right? Is that feasible? Forty five forty five ninety. These two. This is nine. This is nine. This is fifteen. 
and angles are coming out to be now 45, 45 and 90. But that does not match, that does not satisfy. So this is not possible. So 9 is not possible, 16 is correct, right, 16 is correct, no need to check it now. No need to put it uh, and verify, it is certainly it is satisfying all these conditions, but 9 was not feasible that we have verified uh, because it does not satisfy, angles uh, Angles will not match and uh, so 16 is the right value here. Okay, okay let's move further. Uh, I was discussing about uh, some another way, non-trigonometric way. How we can think about this? I have given you a hint already, ki without trigonometric, karna hai, trigonometric use nahi karna hai, mujhe nahi aata yaar. There are many students like that. Are you are you one of them? Yes, yes, na. I'm talking to you now. Okay, listen carefully. So, but if you do not want to use trigonometry, see, trigonometry use karne ka sabse bada benefit kya hai? Luxan to dekh liya. You need to remember many formulas, many conditions. You need to remember and then you need to apply and then you need to calculate properly without doing any mistake, right? Uh, so, that is the drawback. Yeah, you need to remember many things, right? But the benefit is that. You just need to apply that. You just need to apply that. Now, uh, non-trigonometric way or intuitive way or imaginative way or visualized way, visualization way is that uh, where you are to think a lot. Think a lot. So, kya soche pe? Now, see, uh, I'm doing going to do one construction here. I'm extending this side. Let's see. I'm extending this side. I'm using different color. This is uh, yellow. Yes. So, I'm extending this side here. Uh, with this uh, yellow color and now this yellow length let it be equal to x okay isko maine x ke jitna hi extend kar liya fine that is my my i want i did this kyunki aise kya fayda hoga let's see that let's just see that so let me join these free ends now to get another triangle now this we are having another large triangle and between if i see these two uh, this uh, in this triangle here in this triangle here, these two sides are same, x and x. That means these two angles are going to be equal, yes or no? Yes, because these two sides are equal. Isn't it? Because these two sides are equal. So in this triangle, it becomes an isosceles triangle where two sides are equal. So of course, the angles opposite to them would also be equal. Can we know their values? Yes, sir. This 2 theta is acting as exterior angle for this triangle. So it is nothing but sum of the opposite two angles which basically are equal, right, by construction, hai na? So, iska kya matlab hua? What will be the value of these angles? It is theta, theta each, right? This angle is theta, this is also theta. Ah, that was a magical turn, right? So, the moment I extended this length same as that of x, so I got in this triangle two equal sides, which mean two equal angles, whose sum is equal to this two theta because it is acting as exterior angle, and which meant that these two angles are theta each, right? Okay, done so far. Uh, if you want to name the triangle, we can name it, but otherwise uh, there's no need. We, we want to do it faster. No need to write the names, it's okay. So if you see carefully now, this large triangle, if you see carefully, we are having one angle marked as theta, this uh, another angle marked as two theta, and the remaining angle, right? Is that fine? In this large triangle, we have theta, 2 theta and unmarked angle. And remember, yahi to angle se theta, 2 theta in this blue triangle, if you see, yahi to angle se na, theta, 2 theta and the unmarked angle. Are baba, we have two triangles where the three angles are same. Do you recognize these triangles? Yes, sir. Inko bolte hai similar triangles, right? They are called similar triangles. So basically, a chhotka triangle and a complete barka triangle, these two triangles are similar because all the three angles are same, theta to theta and the unmarked one. And by the way, this unmarked angle is a common among these uh, two triangles, isn't it? You're right. So these two triangles are similar. So let's use the property of similarity. And what is that property? That corresponding sides will be in same ratio. Okay, let's put it now. So, I'm writing here only. So, corresponding side will be in the same ratio. Which are the corresponding sides? The corresponding sides ka matlab hota hai equal angle ke opposite wali sides. Right? Equal angle ke opposite wali sides. So, uh, uh, what to do, what to do, what to do. Okay. So, in this body triangle, in this large triangle, theta ke opposite 15. Right? And in this choti triangle, theta ke opposite 9. They are the corresponding sides. That ratio must be equal to the uh, ratio of the another corresponding sides. So, first I have written the side length of the larger triangle, right? 
uh, this time I have written uh, theta k opposite value side and in this Schrodinger triangle theta k opposite side that is 9 right. Now in the last part, uh, next part uh, let us write about uh, the side length opposite to 2 theta. So in the larger triangle 2 theta k opposite it is 9 plus x can you see that it is 9 plus x and same way in this Schrodinger triangle in this blue triangle 2 theta k opposite we have the side length 15 that is it. That is it. That is the only relation and we have to figure out the value of x. That is a simple question. Now, it is simple arithmetic question. It is just ratio proportion or equations whatever you say. So, that is what we need to simplify now. Okay, let us do it. Uh, can we cancel out something? Let us cancel. So, 3, 3 is our 9, 3, 5 is our 15, 3, 5 is our 15, Arre, bap, re, bap. 5, 5 is our 25. So, 25 is equal to 9 plus x which means x is equal to 25 minus 9 which is nothing but 16. So, this is the right answer, right? So, we found it earlier also. So, using trigonometry, we had to write a bit and we got it. It was not difficult part, but it, it was a bit lengthier, right? And now, when we uh, use our intuitions, use our imagination, visualization and bit logic, right? So, we have just done a construction and karte hi, itna kaam karte hi. we got two similar triangles and using similarity. Uh, that was the only thing we had written here in the blue color you can see, right? So, we got our answer, right? Now, question, extension question for all of you is that, can you think of any other approach also? There are many, there are many, I'm only, only warning you, I'm only giving you a, a spoiler, you can say there are actually other ways also. So, this is your task now, can you think of any other way? Please write in comments, don't use chat GPT, don't use Google or something, right? Use your own intelligence which has been granted to you, if you will not use it, आपसे लेके कहीं और बांट दी जाएगी तो भाई यूज कीजिए सही से ओके थैंक यू ऑल द बेस्ट